Um, well, the Czech culture is very different from America. Um, when I first came here, everyone was staring at me because we talk very loudly. Um, here, everyone's a lot calmer. You can't overhear people in restaurants. Um, the restaurants, it takes you like two hours to get through a meal because they don't rush you. Um, they barely talk to you unless you're ordering food, which is really nice because you can actually engage in conversations. Um, we have to take trams, which is a lot different, but it's a really great form of transportation. Um, it's like cheap and fast and you don't have to worry about finding parking and there's stops all over the city. Um, Czech people are really nice. Um, as long as you talk in Czech at first, like just say Dobry den and then be like, can you speak English? They're more than happy to help you. Um, they know their language is hard, so it's not like you have to come in with a full vocabulary. But um, it's just like being respectful of their culture. And it makes me have a whole new perspective on American culture and how like the good things and the bad things. And it's really nice to see how different other cultures are. And For as far as the location of the institute, like Joanna said, it's tucked away, so there's not so much a lot of access going on around it. But it's about three minutes from Old Town Square, about five, ten minutes or so from Charles Bridge, and around twenty up to the main castle area. So it's in a prime location. Um, the facility itself is, is something interesting. Um, I, I can vouch for everyone. We all expect the university, but I've, I've come to enjoy and appreciate the little close knit setting that is Prague Institute. Um, the staff has been very helpful as far as giving us a lot of services and, services and providing a lot of help for whenever we need it as far as stuff for school, getting around Prague, um, finding out information on exactly where to go and helping us with certain things like air, airports and cabs and everything that we would know. Um. I think the independence, just being able to I mean, we don't know anyone here, so just being able to walk around, it's like, I don't know, you know, anyone. So just being completely on your own and just being able to walk and get coffee and walking to school, like, I don't miss my car at all, and I don't want to have a car, but that's reality where I go to school. But just the independence and the way that people go out on – basically every night and just enjoy time with their friends. Like, I feel like the environment is just so much more, um, like people oriented, like at home, I feel like everyone is on the fast track to their own things and, um, sort of have this tunnel vision towards the weekend and, you know, but here I feel like people enjoy every day and there's things that are going on every day. Um, there's always like festivals and random sidewalk stuff and, I'm going to miss that a lot, just being able to walk by that every day and not having the same thing.